Can I get in here now? There are so many freaking zombies in here. All right, you know what we're going to do? Wake up. Wake up, little Susies. Wake up, little Susies. Wake up. Yeehaw! All right, guys, it is morning. I spent uh, the night on the the fluffy fluffy bottoms, I guess it's called. Yeah, fluffy bottoms roof here. Uh, there were some Zeeks up here. I had to kill them. I tried to be quiet, but uh, they detected me, uh, including uh, a cop and a couple night walkers. But, and then I killed a few more zombies just, you know, from down below for something to do during the night and got my uh, pistol skill up one point. And uh, there's some fat loots up here, so I figured, what the hell? Let's go ahead and just loot these because why not? We're here. Um, if we ever do a quest here, uh, you know, next time though, we won't have fat loots, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's start with this here. And then uh, what I'm going to actually do is just keep kind of looking around. I'm going to probably leave both of those things. I'm only going to take, you know, decently valuable <coughs> stuff be just because, you know, we're, we're kind of on a road trip here, so we're not really in looting mode. Um, so I'm going to take this, this, and that. Let's get the thingamadoodle off of here. Wouldn't that be cool if we could find an auger? Oh, wow, that's nice, though. That is nice, and I'll also take the steel polish. Okay, let's check the ammo pile here. Um, everything but that is good. Working stiff. Sounded like he was right there. Um, yep, all good stuff there. We can use that sledge to combine with our current one to repair it. Dog food. A small ammo pile. And a basket here. Pretty nice little collection of loot up here, actually. Uh, we also have a sealed shipping crate. Probably, maybe a secret stash or a hidden stash, yeah. All right. I don't need a cooking pot, water cooler. Actually, you know what? Maybe I will pick that up. Just in case we make some kind of a real makeshift starter base or something before we head back, you know, to our main base to get stuff. And okay, there's nothing in that pet carrier. That is a big ass pet carrier. Here's a medical stash thingamadoodle. Um, how to purify water. Okay, so what exactly does that mean? No, I don't know. I know what it means in vanilla, but what's it mean in Ravenhurst, you know? Um, here, let's look at something. Water. Boiled water. Bucket. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't know exactly what that means. Um, does it mean I know how to make mineral water now? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it does. Okay, anyway, um, let's go ahead and do some more looking around here. Um, this, this block here, uh, this city block here is like, um, it's like a woodland or something. It's really odd. And there are actually... Here, actually, let me drop a few things off because I'm kind of encumbered here. Let's see if there's any eggs in here. I'm not picking up feathers. Um. Okay, so let's... um. Yeah, let's drop a few things off. That MRE is nice.
There was a, a school bus along the side of the store that the zombies were climbing up on to try and get up on the roof, so I had to take that apart. That's why I have those parts. Anyway, yeah, this is kind of a an interesting place. It's uh it's got like this um like this ditch here with some water and looks like maybe it goes down underground or something. But there's a couple of pockets of water. But it's not really anything major, you know. Uh, like there's a little pocket of water right there too. So it's just, yeah, it's just really unusual. Um, ooh, snake. Right in the middle of the of the city too, you know, so... Where is that snake? Is it down below? I don't even see it. And there's even crops here too, like corn and potatoes and other stuff. A wolf, maybe? Wolf and a zombo fighting. So yeah, I'm not I'm not really sure what this is all about. It's just weird. Interesting. Um, I suppose what we could do, I mean, we're we're supposed to be finding a place to live. <laughs> we could build a house here, maybe. I don't know. It's just a little weird. Did I just hear a buzzard? Oh, I did. What the hell, man? Is it a buzzard horde or do the buzzards live here? I hear wings flapping. Oh, maybe it's just zombo feet. Lots of tr trees and stuff. There you are, Arlene. Come here. Come around the tree. There you go. Okay. So there's this big rock here and just, you know, crops and stuff. So anyway, um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just interesting. And, you know, if if we do decide to, to stay here, we can, of course, explore it sometime. There's also this kind of like homeless person's camp, I guess you'd call it here. Man, I better be careful of landmines. There's a little bit of food and stuff there. Ice chest. I'll take that. So yeah, it's just uh, it's just a bit bizarre. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep looking around. So we we did yesterday. Uh, we did find those two gas pumps. Uh, well, four four gas pumps, two different places with gas pumps. So that would, you know, that was kind of like my minimum that I said I would need to to live here. But I haven't, uh, you know, haven't fully committed to to this place yet. Let's pick up pick up our bedroll. I set that down last night just in case something bad happened, you know. Um, and I think I think we've covered all of the the streets now I can't remember actually so we've got a we've got a Deshong there and a Higashi across the street but of course we can't do anything at all with those until we get a hazmat suit I I don't like that you know um, that they did that in this mod um, what I would, what I wish they would have done is done it to some tier fives, maybe, but not all tier fives. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my thought on that. But anyway, whatever. Um, so I haven't really noticed any more gas pumps except for those two. It'd be nice if there was a little bit more. Oh no, we don't want to go over there. Uh, a little bit more nice than that. My dude's trying to do some. Some rad stuff there. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just a little bit undecided. A little bit undecided. You know, another place I haven't noticed yet is a paper mill. It would be really good to find a paper mill. 
Because if you can find a, even one paper mill, you can get enough paper to last you for pretty much your entire rest of your playthrough, you know? The other thing, you know, we talked about yesterday, um, and when I say yesterday, I mean both in-game and literally, because <laughs> I had to I had to actually shut down the game and leave yesterday, so it is the next day for me, too. Oh, there's, the, there's that lighthouse uh, building again. Uh, but anyway, we talked about how, you know, being near a wishing well if we if we can't be near an actual body of water because, you know, then we're going to have to haul water for the garden. And, you know, there's no way I'm, I'm going to want to have to haul it from a long ways away. That's just going to be too much of a pain in the neck to do something like that. Um, here, let's get these. Who's coming? Yeah, we'll kill you two. Or three. We never had a chance to actually loot these pumps yesterday because there was too many Zeeks around. kind of the cheating way to do it. Oh, he's going to tag us. Okay, well, um... I haven't seen a wishing well. And there, there's no, not really any body of waters, a body of water in this city that I've noticed. So, you know, that's also kind of a deal breaker, to be honest with you, because of the garden. So we might have to abandon this city to, to live in. I mean, we, we can and we definitely will be coming here to, to loot and stuff. Um, but without water, it's, you know, kind of a no, not going to work, basically. Now, we did talk about going over and looking at some of these places by these these little lakes. So let's do that next. So I didn't notice a single wishing well in that entire town. And, you know, I might have missed it, but I just didn't notice it. So let's see. We've got... Uh, this is kind of like just a camp here. So that's not really anything we could use to make our own base. The road kind of goes across this water here. How deep does this water get? Okay, so it's not super deep. I mean, it wouldn't take a, a, a ton of, um, you know, dirt to, to build it up. Let's go see what's over here. Okay, yeah, there's a there's a wishing well right there. Not that it matters, because there's lakes around here too. What is this? Some kind of a little miniature amusement park? It looks like. All right, let's go this way. Okay, there's a POI back up, going this way. Let's go see what that is. Be kind of nice to to just live in an actual normal house, you know. We'd have to definitely beef it up for defense, but I don't know. I'm thinking that'd be kind of nice for a change. Okay, so we got this house up here. Definitely would be how a house flipper situation if we actually decided to live here. It'd be quite a bit of work. 
uh, to do. Not that that's a bad thing, you know. Hey! Down with your burn sickness. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Honestly, I'm kind of not feeling it, you know? Kind of not feeling it. So, let's just keep looking. There is, um, there's some water here. I'm not sure what that place is. So we could go look at that. Uh, let's just follow this road north, too, and see if it leads to another POI that we can't quite see yet. Oh, we should stop by and check Trader Rex inventory, too, since we're coming back this way. Okay, SMG turrets, tactical assault rifle, bandolier mod, art of mining, volume 7. Ooh, um, I'm gonna buy that. Crafting lanterns is, is good stuff. I'm gonna buy that. Player vending machine. Okay, let's look at his normal inventory. Art of Mining Volume 7, and that's the one we just bought. Got a purple robotic slash. I think we have a purple robotic, or at least a blue one. Lucky's, AK, can of chili. Okay. No refunds. Deal's done. Now, now beat, beat it, fucker. <laughs> um, Rex, you're such an asshole. Do I have lockpicks on me? I do. Okay, we're going to rob you. Just because you deserve to be robbed, dude. Can I get behind you here? Excuse me. Pardon me, sir. Excuse me. Okay. Let's see what he's got in his bookcase. Um, right, we'll just grab those and sell them back to him. This jack is safe here. Oh, so close. Of course, now you're going to take five five to eight more lockpicks for me to get into you, you stupid son of a... Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, that's a lot of stuff. Oh. Oh, I was going to say, is that a sniper rifle? All right, here. Let's sell you some stuff, dude. <laughs> And so on this, and this, and this, and all of this, and, um, I guess we could use that to do a combined repair. Um, I'm just going to sell him this stuff, too. I don't really need to be carrying that around with me right now. Here, you want some wood? No, he doesn't. Here, you can have it for free. And, uh, I think I'll keep everything else. Right? Yeah. Don't okay. let the door hit you on your way out. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay. Um, so we were gonna go over to this other spot that we saw some water at. Let's go look at this thing over here too. I don't know if that's something we can get to or not. Now one advantage to living here is it's right next to the desert. So, you know, ac direct access to oil shale. Which, you know, once we get the larger vehicles, we may have to, to do some oil shale. Oh, is that a library? It is the library. Oh, nice. And of course it's irradiated. Son of a bitch, man. <laughs> but hey, at least it's there. At least it's there. Okay. That's good. Um, So, you know, I think 
yesterday when we came through here, I said, oh, there's a library, but then I said, no, it's the Deshong, but I really did see the library. Okay, good. Um, all right, so what are we doing? We're going to go see where this other water is. It's, uh, there's a little thing of water here, but let's go to, to there. There's a junkyard here, too, so that could, you know, that could mean more gasoline, potentially two more pumps. Unless, did we already check this place? I don't think we did. All right, so we got the old power plant there. Oh, the public pool. That's right. That's right. Where'd he go? Oh. Son of a bitch. I still don't, didn't get a cutoff on Baldi there. Don't growl at me, Ronnie McBonnie. Okay, we have enough here to warrant a pipe bomb explosion. Let's just get them all grouped up. Oh shit, she's fast. Is she feral or just pissed? I took out a couple of them. Yeah, we didn't do a good job of hitting them there. We got the... We either got the runner or she chilled out. I don't know. All right, so this this is good. This is really good. Um, we'd probably have to. Oh shit! That scared me. <laughs> we'd probably have to. Um, did we kill him? either build here or put a land claim block down here because otherwise we'd be fighting these guys every single freaking time we needed to come to the garden, you know? So I don't know, do we want to live at the pool, you guys? As if you could answer me right now. <laughs> um, let's, let's go take a quick look at it. Here, I'm going to move the bike over towards the door. Come here, Jiggly. Okay. Oops. Right, let's get some pistol action in here. I really wish I could see my see my sight. Someone else over here. You should be dropping dead. I was going to say, man. What the hell? You don't know when to die. I got away from it. You're feral, too. You're dumb, too. You don't know how to go through a door. That house looks pretty cool over there. Oh, goodness sakes. Go away, you guys. What the hell, man? I'm trying to...
trying to scout a potential new home. You're just being pains in the ass. All right. Can I get in here now? There are so many frickin' zombies in here. All right, you know what we're going to do? Wake up. Wake up, little Susies. Wake up, little Susies. Wake up. Yeehaw! Wake up, little Susies. Wake up. Here, we probably better take one of these. Hey! Cut it out. I want all zombies awake and chasing me. Okay. Alright, I guess we're going to have to just get some XP here. You're a runner. Okay, let's get some bleed going. Are you a runner? Well, you're kind of a sort of runner. Ronnie McDonough, are you a runner or are you just pissed? He's a runner. You guys need more bleeds? Plenty of bleeds to go around. Don't worry. I'm more than happy to share my blade with your neck. Or your head. Get out of there. Okay, he did. Hey, didn't I just kill you? No, I did. Oh, the bitch has a hard head. You don't, though. You are so lucky. Now, there is a lot of water in this place. How deep is this pool here? It's not super deep. It'd take a bit of dirt to build it up. A skill point. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. That means advanced engineering level five when we're wearing these, which I should have been wearing killing all these zombies. Too much shit to remember, man. Um, There we go. Okay, so now we can craft the blacksmith forge, which means we can start making jars, and the auto workbench, which I think is the same as the mechanic workbench, which means we can... Make the Jeep, or the 4x4, and the motorcycle if we wanted to. But, I mean, if we can go right to the 4x4, I think I'd rather do that. I, I know the motorcycle's faster than the 4x, but the 4x's got all that storage space, which is, in the long run, more important, you know? Um, it's going to use more gas, though, too. Okay, so this uh, this could work. This could work. Um, I mean, we even have we even have a a iron bar fence around the place, you know, which could could be useful. Um, I don't know if I want to live in the existing structure or if we would, you know, we would build something else. Will you die, please? But we would definitely have to put a land claim block down in here. 
um, to prevent all these respawns because it's just, it is a lot of zombos. Oh, hey, this is shallow. We could put like a small garden in here. Yeah. So let's do one more thing before we wrap up this episode. Um, I want to go look at that other spot that had some water too. Shit. Come here, Jiggly. Okay, so where was that? That was up... That, this is... <clears throat> excuse me. This is a waterworks. I can tell just by looking at it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, And there's a, a water there, and there's one up here. So let's just look at those really quick. We'll go to the waterworks first, because it's just right up the road. Um, I, I want to see what's around the waterworks, like if there's a nice house near it kind of idea. It's this nice big open field if we wanted to build our own house. Alright, so we don't have a, a nice house next to the waterworks. I'm just, you know, <clears throat> again, I'm, I'm kind of feeling house here, you know? And we could do a house... We could do a small house with a sleeping bag to stop spawns. I mean, if it was a POI. And still put the land claim down at the pool. Okay. So that's the Deshong. Um, where was the other... Here, let's go look at this water first. The idea about building something from scratch out in the field is only going to work if there's a wishing well close by. And I'm not really seeing... Seems to me like those are out in the out in the boonies and not in, in towns, but I don't know. Oh yeah, this house. I know this house. It's got a, like a little pool in the back. Hmm, I kind of like that idea. I think there might be a dog back here too, but let's see what how big the pool is. Not very big. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's not that's not I don't think that's big enough for us to make a big significant but significant sized garden. How deep is it? I mean, it would be great for as just a, a source of water for us, but for a garden, huh, I don't think it would work too well. I would love to live in a house like this. This would be perfect. We could fix it up, though, make it look cool. I mean, we could still maybe do it, like use a sleeping bag to stop spawns here, and then, like I said, put the land claim down at the pool. But the pool's kind of a long ways away from here. Got an ammo pile. Any chance we get a backpack upgrade? Of course not. That's asking too much, man. That is friggin' asking too much. Um. <clears throat> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we just broke the typing board. Okay. Um, so, again, like I said, this is a possibility for um, for us to live with and have a water source, you know, just in the backyard there. But it wouldn't work for the garden. Uh, well, unless we planted the garden outside and just hauled the water to it. Now, that could work. That could work. 
Okay, let's go look at that that final other water source. And then I think, um, you know, we'll need to make a decision as to what we're actually going to do here. Okay, so the other place was right here. That looks like it's just another pool. Looks like it might be a little bit larger than the one we just looked at. Oh yeah, this house. Sure. We we actually did this house um several episodes ago. So it's got the pool in the back too. There's usually a zombie in here. Oh shit, there's a grill glowing zombie. Not good. Taking any shit off you glowing zombies. All right, they're dead. Okay, so it's kind of the same situation here, though, right? We've got the pool, but it's it's not large enough to put the garden inside of, but it could certainly be a water source for us. And we've got a concrete wall that we could, you know, upgrade to. Um, the other place does not have a concrete wall, so I would kind of favor this one over that other one. For that reason. And then, you know, we just plant our garden somewhere like just right next to the house, I guess. Let's take one of these because we are infected. Let's just take this right now. Because we're hungry. Let's get these guys all rounded up here. in here a couple of vitamins okay so if we lived in this house we could plant a nice big garden just right along here and extend the wall or even you know along this side um and then just you know just haul water to it from the pool with a pail that wouldn't be hard to do because you know it, it's just right there we wouldn't have to fill up well no I still have to filter the water. That's such a pain in the ass. But I would put a water filtration unit just right next to the pool, I guess. Um, I kind of like that idea, you know? I kind of like that idea. We could put a land claim here. Then we wouldn't have to screw with the, the stupid swimming pool. I mean, the swimming pool, we could build the garden right in the pool, but we'd have to build it up a lot, you know, with the with the dirt. So, all right, here's what I'm, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to the central town, you know, that we have the four different gas stations in. And I'm just going to look at it one more time, you know, with an eye to moving there because I've never paid that much attention to it from that standpoint and um if i don't find something better than this i think this is going to be our house i think this will be our house and then we'll we'll plop an lc block down and um you know claim it then we'll have a water source nearby um this is kind of like a big garden area out here too well it's more like a playground park-ish area 
There's a lot of crops we could pick, but there's no water. I mean, we need to be right next to the water to make this viable so it's not a huge pain in the ass. Meaning that even probably back here would be the best place for the garden. We could just extend the wall out, you know, further and then have a big long row of several crops there. And we come over here and pick all this stuff just to get, you know, more seeds and whatnot. Okay, well, that's what I'm going to do. So <clears throat> if I find something better in the... The town back up kind of more in the center of the map, this town. Of course, I will um, let you guys know. If I don't, then I think this is our new house here. And then the next thing, of course, is that we're going to have to do the move. But it might behoove us to to build the 4 by 4 first just because, you know, we can, we can haul so much more stuff down here if we do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this house here. Um, we're going to save the waypoint, and we're going to call this house with a question mark. Um, we even have a backhoe right next door. I mean, who doesn't want to have a backhoe right next door, right? I mean, that's the coolest thing ever. And anyway, um, yeah, I'll go scope out that other town. And then if I don't find anything better, this is where we're going to live. That's the plan. And then we'll probably go back to our current town. Stay there for a long, you know, a few more episodes, long enough, you know, for me to, to get the auto workbench, the mechanic workbench, whatever made, and the 4x4 made. And then we come and move down here and spend the rest of our series uh, living in this place and operating out of this area with, you know, two really large cities. We got this one, we got this one, and, you know, even this one isn't too far away because we just got a nice smooth highway to get up there. Uh, plus, again, the advantage of being in this town is we're right next to the desert, so we can go mine uh, oil shale to take care of the gas situation, especially once we get an auger because then we can get it in mass quantities of it. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm feeling good about this. I think this is the right decision to make. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.